So I'm kind of upset at base 64. And the reason I'm upset at base 64 is because I was writing a base conversion code in assembly language and I realized something. And I realized that the current format of base 64 prevents me from writing one function to do all base conversions. Let me explain. So down here you can see we have 64 base values. And 0 and 1 are binary, and that's base 2. And you can see 1, 2 characters. 0 to 9 is base 10. That's decimal. That's just regular numbers, what we're used to. And 0 to F is base 16, which is hexadecimal. And all these line up perfectly in a row. So I thought to myself, well then, this must be base 64. And I was wrong. It turns out that in base 64, 0 to 9 is moved on the other side of A, B, C, D, E, the alphabet, and the other alphabet. So it ends up right over here by the end of the um, dash and the underscore. And also originally base 64 had plus and slash, but that didn't work on the web. So not only are there multiple versions, but it doesn't line up with all the rest of the base conversions. So I want a petition to change base 64 to be in this ordering so that it can be the same for every single one. Now this sort of um, code here that I've written actually does work in terms of conversion. I'm only just now getting to the point where I'm getting user input in and I'm able to put out a value. Like for instance, um, I can set the base, uh, let's see, whoops, wrong command, build, get value. I can set the base uh, to a specific value and we'll do zoom to fit so that this does not cause problems. Okay. So if we hit enter, it's just zero, right? And then let's let me remember what I'm supposed to do here. Right, get input buffer. Right, I didn't have a prompt, so you just put it in. I wish this um, zoom to fit would stay. Okay, so if I set something to be base 16, this value here gets output as 7fffff. Okay, and you can see that same value. In, as my test value right here. So this is the max signed integer value for short, which is two bytes. And if we, uh, one cool thing about this is that if we run this again, and, um, and we put two in here, you can see that, in, uh, oh no, I didn't need two in there. Anyways. Um, if we put like say 10 in here, you get 32,767, which is the, the decimal value. And if you put um, 64, well, you get base 64. Which this is the max in base 64. Um, and you can do any number of, so like we could have base 24 too, and it would put it out as base 24. So I like that you can do all of them. But because how base 64 and web is used, and that's the main place it is used, it doesn't work. I'd have to write an entirely different value specifically for base 64 conversion. So that's a little bit upsetting. Uh, but anyways, I just wanted to say that. I am still working on assembly language stuff, but I'm my last tutorial series I did in assembly language, I sort of hit like the you know, the, um, the limit of what I'm comfortable teaching. And so now I'm just sort of like learning stuff, um, which is why I'm doing the, the Adobe replacement, um, stuff because I want, I, that's a tool I actually need and will use myself. So but yeah, anyways, happy New Year's Eve, anyone, everyone. Um, it's I'm on the West Coast, so it's not um, not there yet, but getting close. All right, that's all I got to say. So.